Vertex has made a video that does compel a reply. <laughs> Nick, I agree with you, and, and the thing about agreeing with people um, is that it is kind of annoying because there's not really much to say if you agree with someone. Uh, yeah, uh, so why don't you argue with me then, all right? Uh, the video before last to you where I, you know, you challenged me to prove you wrong, and I did prove you wrong, and you had no reaction to that video. No, you put in the comment, I agree. <laughs> it just doesn't make much, there's not really any point in saying that, you know. Yeah, well, I don't even think you're agreeing, because Nick didn't even bring consciousness up into the equation. He was just talking about the his base camp was just the ludicrous, you know, obvious fact um, that we are a, an arrangement, and the arrangement changes when you die. Big deal. I mean, duh. Other than to acknowledge that, hey, I've watched this video and I agree with you, but... So it's the awkwardness uh, of the thing. But yeah, I agree. I mean, I would say it in different ways. You call it social baggage, I would call it subjectivity. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, he didn't call it so social baggage. He was talking about the different reactions to different parts of life. But I don't think he said part of the social baggage was acknowledging the fact that suffering matters. I don't think he said that. Uh, maybe you think he did, but I don't think he did. You know, had to, when, when you deconstruct it enough, deconstruct this universe enough, uh, you can pretty much break it down to us being atoms. Yeah. <laughs> but we're different atoms than we were five years ago or seven years ago or even... Yeah, I'm just going to skip this now. Big deal. I mean, that's, that's the way the mechanical life form works. The fact that it feeds and it um, uh, reorganizes itself. Um, it's not really reorganizing, it replenishes itself. So what? It's, it's, a, it's biologically interesting, maybe? Uh, physically interesting? I don't know. I, I don't see the relevance. I don't see the point in it. <laughs> uh, I mean, the fact that the, the clouds that rain on you are different clouds than they were the last time it rained on you really doesn't change the fact that the clouds make rain and they've been doing it for billions of years. Things that I'm comprised of, the material that I'm comprised of, will be somewhere else in seven years' time. You know, maybe, uh... So what? I mean, what? How does it fucking matter? How, how does the, the, the... This is like saying that the paint makes the car or something. This is idiotic. It has nothing to do with our functionality. It has nothing to do with the core meaning <coughs> of our existence. Well, is the people alive because it used to be human? Um, you know, that's the kind of silly questions that we're faced with. And, and the answer is obviously no. You know, it's, we're not talking about life as in the material existence of this body. Um, because objectively, the, it has no value, no purpose, no meaning. Uh, you you know, well, you're, you're just, yeah, so uh, consciousness has no value, no purpose, no meaning. So suffering and feelings and all that stuff has no meaning in the universe. It doesn't matter whether you have 10 million tons of suffering for one little pleasure, or it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the equation is, doesn't matter what the proportions are, it just doesn't matter. So if there's something <clears throat> writhing in pain and the human watching it doesn't care, then it means the pain doesn't mean anything. It only means something if some human cares. Is that your bullshit, insane argument? It doesn't have any reality as a negative event in the universe outside of somebody's appreciation of it? What a pile of crap. I feel a bit objectivity. There's no value, purpose, or meaning to it. You know, that we are simply atoms. We're not simply atoms. I mean, how can you fucking possibly say we are simply atoms? We are a huge complexification of atoms, okay? We're not simply atoms. We're not simply a rock. We're not simply an inanimate object. We are simply a hugely complex arrangement that has um, attributes that, that manifests um, uh, 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 properties. Okay, very unique to that complication. Very unique. Consciousness is a unique manifestation of an arrangement of matter. It is not an irrelevant manifestation. It is a hugely relevant manifestation. The only probable, the, probably the only meaningful uh, manifestation of uh, matter in the fucking universe. 
a collection of atoms just doing the clump of matter thing, just like a rock or an asteroid, which is a big fucking rock. Uh, what the hell is that? So human beings are rocks. I mean, it just it, it, how? Uh, there's no. Uh, uh, I, I mean, what? How could a six-year-old not know that there's a difference between a rock and its sister? I mean, what are you insane? Or a star. We're all made of matter. And, um. But yeah, sure, you could say, well, you know, we're made of matter, but the environment of our body is such that consciousness can exist. Uh, and hence, that makes us special, objectively. But it doesn't because we're still. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. How do you say that? How could you possibly justify it doesn't make a huge motherfucking difference? It is just fucking insane. That's all. I, there's no other word for it. I mean, it's, an, it's a ludicrous, insane premise that consciousness doesn't substantially change the um, value of the possessor's matter. The matter has less value when it's conscious, I mean, less more value when it's conscious than when it's not conscious. I mean, how could, how could anybody not think that it's the, the, the welfare of a living human being that's feeling is more important than the value of the dead one? I mean, we throw the dead ones in the fucking ground, for Christ's sake, so at least we're able to figure out that there's a huge fucking difference. We don't just throw the living ones in the ground. <sighs> God, fucked hearted to the max matter. Um, so objectively, it doesn't actually matter. Okay, whether we are alive. Yeah, well, it's, it's, a, it's, it's an interesting statement that's just completely undemonstrable by anything we can logically add up. Okay, through our through our subjective existence, we are, we, we being conscious beings, we know what consciousness is. We experience it. We know what it is. I mean, maybe if there was an alien intelligence that never had a feeling, never felt a thing ever, which is probably impossible because I don't think intelligence can be built without it. But regardless, let's say one could exist and never knew what a feeling was. Yes, it would be fucktarded impossible to explain to that kind, to that intelligence what the hell a feeling was. All they'd have to do is take our word for it that damn feelings are really fucking important. Okay, so yes, we gain knowledge of the existence of feelings by feeling. Okay, that, then it becomes an objective truth. Feelings, conscious beings feel. That becomes an objective truth that has significance. Suffering does matter. I mean, it's an objectively um, obvious fact. I mean, it's obvious. It's, 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 it's like rain is wet. I mean, it's just fucking goddamn obvious that suffering matters. Anything that's ever felt it and never had a taste of it knows that it fucking matters. Dead. Uh, purpose, meaning, and life consciousness, the, the values that we place upon them are subjective values. Bullshit! Okay? It's not a subjective value. You know the difference between horrific suffering and pain and delirious happiness and you will intellectually choose one over the other you will not subjectively make that choice you will intellectually through your knowledge of it know that yes okay if i have the power to make something happy by pointing at it or, or to make it miserable by pointing at it the odds are you're going to say yes i will make it happy because being happy is better than being miserable i mean what the fuck are you talking about? How can you not see the difference between those two qualitative states? There's a huge fucking difference. I mean, it's, it's, the, oh, it's, it's the most important difference in the fucking universe. How can you miss something so fucking obvious? So the base come for me is saying, objectively, <laughs> that we should unleash the, the huskies of objectivity and send them home on our subjective crampons and ascend the mountain of existence. And that's it's completely idiotic. Just idiotic nonsense. Our subjective appreciation, well then we just might as well go back to loving kittens and hating pigs or some other nonsense. 
I mean, what is just garbage? It's not about what we feel, it's what we understand. And we understand that the, the six billion, seven billion people, that there's no way to make a distinction between one or the other. I mean, if you have to impose suffering on a, a random two of them or three of them or make a decision between it, you couldn't make the decision. There's no way that's qualitatively the same. If you had to give one of them a broken leg, you know, unless they give you the choice of Adolf Hitler and, you know, Gandhi or something, but they're not going to give you that choice. They're just going to give you generic humans. And if you have to make the choice, you're going to know that it's going to be this just as miserable for every one of those individuals. I mean, it's just bullshit. This, yeah, it's just, this, your, your philosophy is fucking insane. How the fuck can you reject one of the most obvious facts of our existence? Suffering matters.